And now students, here is the question number 21. And this question says the correct order of increasing pH values of the aqueous solutions of baking soda, rock salt, washing soda and the slaked lime is. It means you have the four compounds and what you have to do here, you have to just arrange them in the order of increasing pH value. For this purpose, you should know the pH value and this question could be solved on the basis of the hydrolysis. Because in this case, we have the two salts, which is one is the baking soda, other is the washing soda. We have to consider its hydrolysis first. And if you are talking about the rock salt, this is NaCl and it does not undergo hydrolysis. So basically, it is a neutral salt with the pH value 7. So its value is 7 and if you are talking about these two, we can find out their pH values on the basis of their hydrolysis. You can clearly see here when baking soda is hydrolyzed, it will form OH minus ion. But if you are considering Na2CO3, that is washing soda, one molecule is producing two OH minus ions and it means it has more pH value because it is more basic solution that is produced by Na2CO3. And if we are talking about NaHCO3, its pH value is less as compared to washing soda. And if we are talking about the third substance, that is, that third substance that we have to take here was calcium hydroxide. It is basically the Arrhenius base. And if it is Arrhenius base, its pH value would be maximum. So if we consider the pH value, it has the maximum pH value, then the pH value of washing soda would be there, then there would be the baking soda and then we have the pH value of the rock salt that is NaCl. And on this basis of this discussion, which option would be correct? If we consider the options given here, there would be the rock salt with the least pH, then baking soda, washing soda and finally the slaked lime. So which option is correct? This is the second option. So we'll write the answer here that is the option number two. I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move towards the next question that is question number 22. And now here is the turn for the question number 22. In this question you can see here that it is asked how many grams of oxygen gas will be needed for complete combustion of two moles of third member of alkyne series. What you have to consider here, you have to just consider the third member of alkyne series. Now, first you have to identify that what is the third member of the alkyne series? The third member of alkyne series is C4H6. What is this? This is basically the butyne. And when it is undergoing combustion, what will happen? There would be the formation of carbon dioxide, water and energy would be released. So let's state the balanced chemical equation for the combustion of butyne. You can clearly see here. And according to this equation, you can see that 2 moles of butyne needed 11 moles of oxygen gas. And on the basis of this, you can easily solve this question. Here it is asked, how much oxygen is needed? for the 2 mole of third member of alkyne series. So simply you can write here that for this particular process 2 moles of C4H6 needed 11 mole of oxygen. Now on the basis of this if you want to calculate the amount of oxygen what you have to do you have to just multiply mole of oxygen with its molar mass and what's the molar mass of oxygen that is 32 gram. So simply here you want to find out the mass of oxygen and this would be the mass of oxygen needed and that is equal to 352 gram. And what is the correct option here? Let's check. In the given question, the correct option is the option 3. Let's mark it. So answer for this particular question is option 3. I hope this question is clear to you. 
Now, after this, let's take the question number 23. 